Now let's look at the system preferences. There are a couple of ways to access the system preferences. As we've seen, we could simply go to the Apple menu and go here. Or more frequently, you go down to the dock to the icon for system preferences, as you remember from in your iBook and your VPUB, and you click on the gray icon with the gears and your system preferences will appear. There are many preferences on here. We're going to look at a few. The other ones are explained and you can experiment with even more. You notice here we have a personal line, a hardware line, we have an internet and wireless line, a system line, and other. These will set all the preferences. Um, some we, we are used to seeing, we have our desktop preference here and screensaver. So I could change my screensaver to you know whatever I might want. I can also change my desktop very easily. I can search for files and browse right here in my desktop pictures uh, folder or in my iPhoto um, folder. But I can also just simply drag an image. You see this desktop.jpg. I drag it there and boom, automatically that image is on my desktop, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and put the Mavericks image back there so that we can tell the difference between the desktops in a moment. So, that is our desktop and screensaver. We also have Mission Control. Mission Control used to be called Expose, but it's changed. This is a place where you can quickly get a snapshot of what's going on and help your workflow. Let's click on it first to see what it is before we adjust the preferences. You see I click on Mission Control. It shows my dashboard, and we'll look at dashboard a little later, and the different desktops that I have set up on my machine. Now if we go back to our system preferences, now that we know what that is, this is where I can adjust all of those. I can um, show my dashboard space as you saw on there or not. Um, I can automatically rearrange the spaces so the most frequently used um, desktop will show up. And I can adjust some other preferences here. Um, something that is, is a great or, or a great feature is down here you see in the bottom left this is called hot corners and you can set hot corners up to do a lot of things um, as you can see here are some preset options that you can use and you can do some custom ones as well let's go ahead and look at the hot corners I have set up hot corners are basically I'm gonna set each one of these corners to do something when I scroll my mouse or cursor up in that corner I have the top right corner as you see right here set to show the desktop so if I have um, a couple of things open let me open up another window here and I want to see my desktop if I scroll up in the top right it makes everything go away and it just shows me my desktop if I click on the little grayed out area on the side it comes back if you see on the bottom right here I have set up application windows and that's why I opened up two if I scroll down there you see it shows me all of the different applications that I have open and all the files and application windows um, right here and I can choose between those and then in the top left we have mission control set up which we've already seen right and then in the bottom left I have my dashboard the dashboard is a place where you can put all types of widgets these are the same types of widgets that you would have on your mobile devices. If you click the plus sign, here's the pre-installed widgets that you find on your machine. Um, you can click on it and see it added the calculator to my my screen. I already had one so I have it highlighted. I'm going to hit delete and it will go away. You have your trusty dictionary and thesaurus here which is very handy for any student and, and some other things here. I'm going to click this right arrow and it will take me out of there and you notice I'm right back in my system preferences. You can also create system um, shortcuts for the keyboard here for a host of things. That's more of a personal preference, but you can do that as well. Now, to get back to our system preferences, also in the personal line we have language, security, spotlight preferences. We've already looked at spotlight. This would just show us which folders we want um, Spotlight to search when we're looking for a file or folder or application. We can turn notifications off and on to notify us when emails come in. We have a hardware um, line here. Um, let's click on a couple of these. The energy saver. This sets up when I want my computer to go to sleep. So I have it set here on five minutes um, 
I will, if I'm not doing anything or everything is inactive, the computer will go to sleep. I also have the display to go to sleep. You can change those up, um, but it really saves on your battery and your screen, as you know, um, when, you, when you leave it inactive for a while. It's even better than a screensaver to let it go to sleep. We also have the keyboard, the mouse, and the trackpad. Since this is a laptop, I'm going to go to the trackpad preferences. If I click on the mouse one, as you see, it will show that there isn't a mouse hooked up. But on the trackpad, I can choose between point and click preferences, zoom and uh, scroll preferences, and more gestures. Point and click, this sets the track speed of my cursor and my finger. It's like the, tra the cursor and finger ratio. Um, I would experiment with this if you never have. Don't just settle for what's set up on the computer. Um, it can really make you a lot faster by letting the speed of that go with your natural um, motion on the computer. So, so adjust that as you would. You can also set up a secondary click, um, which right here I've got secondary click is with two fingers. Um, that means if I put two fingers on the trackpad and click down, uh, it will be like a right click on a Windows machine and you'll get that menu there. Um, we can do look up, three finger drag. These are a lot of different gestures that come pre-installed. I'm here on the three finger drag and you see that it allows me to drag um, that window around. Um, scroll and zoom. Um, I have my computer set up so that if I put two fingers down and move up and down it will scroll through pages. Um, and if you pinch, just like on an iPad or an Android phone, you can zoom in. And as you see in the animation over here, you can pinch and um, twist to, to move your um, photos around. More gestures. There's a lot more here. You can set up uh, multiple custom gestures if you would like. All right. On the Internet and wireless settings, we have our iCloud, our mail and contacts, network, Bluetooth, sharing. We've um, looked at these inside of our iBook and VPUB. Um, let's look at, uh, at one of these. Right now I have nothing set up for share. Um, as we mentioned earlier when we were in the um, Finder, I can set different um, things to share on a network and then I can choose which users over here. Right now I just got you know administrator on this machine but I could give access to all users or specific users that I wanted to. So say I was sharing um, a folder with a friend because we're working on a project, I could say I want to you know, use file sharing and I would click on the appropriate user that I want to share that with. But since I don't want to do any of that, I will not. In fact, to show you another feature, I'm going to lock that. And you see this little lock? When that is down to change any preference in that pane, you have to be an administrator or have those rights. So if I try to change something, it will not do it because this is locked. And that works for all of your preferences. Um, then we have system, system preferences down here. We have users and groups to set up their credentials. We have parental controls, what we looked at, which we looked at in the VPUB and the iBook. And, and um, time machine, which we discussed, what disk we want to start from. And then any applications that would have their own preferences like Flash Player down here. So that gives us a good look at our system references.